What time is it, fellas? Time to react to the new Mac Miller album. Oh. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> but Circles Were Met by the unfortunately deceased Miller has come out. It came out the other day, but I mean, he was listening to the Eminem record. No offense. No offense, obviously, to him, Mac Miller. I was really excited to listen to this album, though, because I got bored of that album, and I was like, man, I really want to listen to Mac Miller. I wish I listened to this one first, but, you know, everything happens for a reason, but 12 tracks. This is like 44 minutes, I think, or 48, and I'm excited. So, let's just start listening to it. First track, the name of this album, Circles. This is so cute. Also, mind the banana. Oh. Hmm. I like that. It sounds like something a best friend would say to you. Mac Miller is such a great friend, I can tell already. He would. He's. That was a beautiful intro to, to kick off this album. That was cute. I felt like that song was personal. It felt like he was talking to someone. Just like being their best friend, like I was saying. I wonder if it's directed at anyone in particular. Because it was saying like, com it was like he was comforting them. That song was very pretty. I really enjoyed it. And I think I'd give it an A. And the way his voice was really, I liked it. It just really felt like he was just sitting down with someone and just talking to them. I really thought that was beautiful. Track number two, Complicated. Oh. Upbeat, maybe? Hmm. That's nice singing. Yeah, I feel that. Hmm. Hmm, like that. I know it's gonna grow on me. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh gosh, not that. I like the instrumental for this song. Oh my gosh. What's so haunting? Complicated. That song. I like the instrumental for that song, honestly. It was very enjoyable and it was a little it was a little groovier. A little. And the chorus, honestly. I like those lyrics. It was saying why there's a it's it always have to be this complicated to I'm too young to be feeling so old. Something like that. Those lyrics, I like those. That was an interesting way of thinking. He was saying how you just want to get through a day instead of thinking about the future. It's very sad because that is something people worry about the future and they and then they were having rough days and stuff like that and another good song honestly that little effect he did really was was really 
It just hit me somewhere. I don't know how to describe it, honestly. I think I'd give that one a 7. I wasn't really feeling that effect, but I know it'll probably grow on me later. Okay, this one is interesting. Blue World, track number 3. Cool opening. Oh, is he saying like a sad world? That's what I was thinking. Is this like a sample or something? Whoa! That beach. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. kind of work actually like a little okay 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 that track i wasn't really feeling that instrumental i like the intro by the way beautiful i wasn't really feeling the instrumental but i was feeling the lyrics so i really hope this track grows i really hope the instrumental grows on me so i can listen to this track more because i do like the lyrics i like what he's saying honestly who is talking bad about him because i want to know just don't do that. But who is it though? Seriously. But I did think that song was pretty nice. I gave it a 7 as well. It's just the instrumental. Besides that, I love that track. And then track number 4 is Good News. And I already heard that song. And that song is what made me want to listen to this album. Because I love that song. Good News for me is a 10 out of 10. Nothing wrong with that song. That song was beautiful. And it was true, the chorus, he was still saying, that's the good news is all they want to hear, and they don't want to see me when I'm sad. That song was on, ever since I heard it, it's been on repeat. I cannot help but listen to it, because I really do love that song. It's so good, and it's my favorite song for the month of January, and I hope it makes my top 10 song list, because it probably will, because I just love it. So much, honestly. I'm not... This is why I wanted to listen to that album, because I was hoping he had more material like that. They had more material like that. Okay. Track number five, I Can See. Oh. Ooh, I get a little punch to it. Sounds like a flower boy. Ooh. Love his singing. Mm -hmm. I like this. It's just this beautiful. It's like so twinkling, beautiful. That was a good song. I like that song. I like his singing on this album so far, honestly. I haven't heard his voice like this before, from what I've heard, but I like it. I can see maybe a nine. I don't know what else to say about it, because I just like that song all around, usually, mostly. No, I just like the song all around, though, honestly. I don't know what else to say. Track number six, Everybody. Oh, his voice is so raw. His voice. Oh. 
That was beautiful, this part. nice song i like that little i thought it was gonna be more of a ballad but it was still good i like that i like the who is this like i don't want to ask questions but who is this person he's talking he keeps talking about he's calling them their his baby saying that they'll be there for him they'll be there for each other and like that's like his son is her or maybe who is it does anybody know that was cute though and he was saying that everybody Everybody's gonna die eventually. It is sad but true, and then everyone just wants to have a good life and a good time while they're on this earth. Yeah, I like that song. Just maybe a nine. Track number seven Woods. Oh, jeez, that scared me. Nice little groove. Come hmm. Okay. Where are you going? Instrumentation, I'm just saying, man. It's beautiful. Oh. That's like something out of a scary movie. What was that? Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really get the full story and picture of this song, so I'm just gonna read about it real quick. Couldn't really find anything about the track, what it's about. Can someone tell me? Cause I, I was listening to the lyrics, but I couldn't really form a story. It seems like he was still talking about this person, talking about, in the beginning, he was talking about not being your, don't run away from me. And we're talking about how heartbreak will leave you bankrupt. And he was saying, do I, do I, and then can I get enough? Is he like talking about this person or is he talking about someone, something else? He's talking about how he can't get enough of this person and he doesn't want them to leave? Is that what he's talking about? Can someone please answer my question in the comments, if you know? Besides that, I like this song. Once again, it's a beautiful song. The instrumentals really felt like they were... They were just taken care of so well. Honestly, I felt like this person who made the instrumentals really, really tried. They really tried to make it beautiful to honor Mac Miller. That song is an eight speaking of eight track number eight is hand-me-downs which that title is interesting to me Ooh, i like this instrumental who's the one who cares for curious
Wait, what is he trying to say? That sounded pretty, but I can't figure it out. He's saying let's turn these jeans into hand-me-downs. I feel like that's a... Uh... For some reason I can't figure out what he's trying to say. He's trying to say these jeans hand-me-downs. Hand-me-downs is when you pass on to your siblings and he's saying that he's an only child. It's just about- this guy is singing the chorus, I don't know him, unfortunately. But, is he like trying to say that Mac wish he had kids or something? Or he wants to pass like, on his legacy? I feel like it's either one of those two, can someone tell me? Either way, this is very pretty. Once again. to me once again can someone tell me in the comments what he means like he's saying he was an only child family round hand me downs turn those jeans into hand me downs can someone tell me what that means or tell me if i was right which i'm probably not i like the way the song sounded once again the instrumental <clears throat> and the lyricism and he was talking about like his, it sounded like he was talking about his struggle. Like, it sounded like he was, like, talking about his depression a bit, I felt like, on that track. He was saying how... Um, I'm trying to remember the lyrics right now. Give me a second. He's talking about being caught in a dark place and stuff like that. Dark stuff like that. And when I hear that, I think of how he must have been feeling depressed and how it was affecting how he was thinking. He was talking about his conscience. That was a little hard listen because I heard that and I was like, I've really been there before with him. I've been there before. So I'm there with him when it comes to that topic. So that song, yes, I do like that song as well. I think that song deserves a solid 8 out of 10. Again, I don't know what's up with me in the 8s. I'm enjoying this album so far. We only have a couple more tracks. We only have four more tracks. This just feels like such a fast listen. I like this, though. I like that they kept it as height 12, but I felt like this, this, it was being handled by his family, which is different from other situations with these albums that have been released after people have been deceased. This felt like it was taken care of so well. Like, the family just really wanted to honor him with this record. And I really appreciate it. It sounds so nice. So well taken care of. I just gotta admire their respect towards him for doing this. And how long they they waited for like a year. They let people chill. They let people like mourn his death. And they were like, you know what? We have a couple songs that he already recorded after swimming to release to you. This album is very... I just love the way that family respected him with this record. It's kind of like, it wasn't like a homage, but it felt like some kind of like, not like, a, maybe like a tribute even to me. This is a nice record so far though. It's very beautiful. The lyrics. It really makes me feel like I, I'm, I'm going through this with him. Honestly, I just, I love this. Track number nine. That's on me. Oh. What's this? I forgot. Do you think it's always fall? Oh. Aww, what's this fall? Oh. Is he placing this blame on himself for something that's happened? Do you don't let me go? Hmm. Whoa. Futuristic. What is he blaming on himself? Because I could tell he's placing his bolt. Something that happened, he's putting the blame on himself. He said, I'll pick you up and I'll help you get around. And then he said, 
I'll let it go. I'll cut the strings today. I'm fine. Hmm. I'm seeing how he's been all right. He's placing blame on himself, and I don't know what it's about, but all I know is what happened. Whatever he's talking about probably isn't his fault, and the lyric and then the chorus just makes me go. Blame yourself for it. That song, like, I wasn't in love with it. Like, I got, like, an emotional dynamic out of it. I think I'd give that a 7. I felt like the chorus repeated a couple times, and I was like, mm. But, not a bad song. It just needs to grow on me more. Track number 10, Ants. Oh, jeez. Okay, that song, I, the B was distracting me from the song, honestly. Except a couple of lyrics that I listened to and I was like, oh. I think this goes over that beat well. Hmm. I wasn't really a big fan of that song. I There were some parts where I was like, yeah, that's pretty enjoyable. And some parts I was just like, this doesn't go with the beat. And the beat doesn't match with the song, so... Um, I'd give that one a 6 out of 10. I think that's my going to be my least favorite. Then we got, then we got track number 11, Sir. Ooh. Aww. Did he say, are we gonna be fine? Who the hell knows? Jesus of drums. Okay, that song. Yes. I like to sing the mess on this track out of the whole album. I do like it. Um, it's hard to remember what he was saying right now because the instrumental just played for a while and there's nothing wrong with that. I listen to The Weeknd, so I'm quite used to it by now. At the beginning, it sounded like he was talking about to this, about this person. About having them, this moment with them. And then later I felt like he was talking about being lonely. But like even with people like in crowds. And being lonely. And he like was trying to struggle to find his home. He knows some place is home. He just doesn't know where it is. Is that I feel like these are the lyrical themes of this track. And I like the way he presents it. I really do like his voice on this album. And I was surprised to like his voice on this Cause after I heard good news, I'm like, his voice just sounds better. Cause like, well, the first time I heard his voice was on, well, the second time I heard his voice was on my favorite part with Ariana Grande. And I didn't really like his voice on that track, so I was like, mmm. But on this album, it sounds great. So, I don't know. And he sounded fine on other tracks I heard, it's just that my favorite part just like threw me off. But, he has a nice voice. He has a nice like singing voice. It's not like amazing, but it's it's quite enjoyable. 
track 12, the last track on this album, Once a Day. say about that track it was nice singing I feel like the beat was a little more low for this track which is a good way to highlight his voice and then the lyrics like it wasn't it was like it'll grow on me but for now I don't really have much to say about it honestly so I think I gave it a 7 out of 10 I don't really know what to, I literally don't know what to say about this track but it'll grow on me Okay, we are done with this album. I really enjoyed most of these tracks. I really did. I think my favorite is still Good News, though. I didn't think anything topped it, but nothing like went down to the bar, like to really. There was no intense low on this album. Hands was my least favorite, but even that song wasn't terrible. It just, I just don't really like it. It's not terrible though. But there was a couple songs, yeah, I wasn't really into, but most of them will grow on me. I know that. And I got quite a few tracks on this album that I enjoy. We have Circles, Good News, I Can See, Everybody, Woods, Hand Me Down, Surf. That's 7 out of 12 tracks that I know for sure I like. And then a couple others that I will grow on me through time. I was not disappointed by this record. I thought it was great. Like I said earlier, I thought it was handled great by the family. They really took care of this record. And they tried to, I could tell they could try to make it as, well, Mac Miller wanted is what I was hearing. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't want to say this at the beginning of the video, but I'm honestly not a Mac Miller fan. When I came to this, I wasn't a Mac Miller fan. I just heard good news and I was like, I need to hear this. I just wanted to admit that because I don't want to be one of those fake people that were saying they've been with him. They've been like into his music. Like, forever, even though they just got into it. There's nothing wrong with getting into his music. Some people might be like, oh, well, you know, say bad things about you for that, but... I just want to keep it 100 with you guys. I enjoyed this record, and after hearing this record, it makes me want to go back to some of his other records. I might be becoming a fan if I hear another or two more records that I enjoy by him. But... And the reason I didn't really get into his music before, I wasn't really interested in... If I'm, and that's my reason, if I'm being honest. So, okay. But yeah, I enjoyed this record. Tell me in the comments some Mac Miller albums to listen to. Because I know he has, like, I only know two he has. Swimming was the last one he made before his passing. And the other one before that was the Defined Feminine. Feminine? I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't remember. But tell me which one to listen to. Okay? Because I... I'm interested. And tell me your opinions on this album in the comments. And thank- Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Thank you for watching.